I'm married to Doug, but before there was Doug, there was Dan. And I, so I had a first marriage and, and we had to go through pre-cana and we had counseling yeah. with our priest. Uh, and he said, now listen, when he gets home from work, you have to make sure, you know, if you've been all day in the sweatpants and the t-shirt, like put on a little makeup, try to make yourself look a little nice. You know, you want to, and I remember thinking, my God, this is the most sexist advice ever. Megan Kelly, a prominent figure in American journalism, is well known not only for her tough interviews and candid opinions, but also for her personal life, which has attracted significant attention over the years. Her career has often been the focus, but her relationships, particularly her marriages, have sparked public curiosity. In this video, we'll explore Kelly's marriages, the personal struggles she has faced, and how these experiences have shaped both her life and career. Megan Kelly was born on November 18, 1970, in Champaign, Illinois, into a middle-class household. Her father was a professor at the State University of New York at Albany, while her mother worked as a nurse. Raised with a strong sense of responsibility and ambition, Kelly was always driven to succeed. She attended Syracuse University, earning a political science degree before heading to Albany Law School, where she completed her JD. Kelly spent nine years as a corporate litigator, practicing law at firms like Jones Day. But despite her professional success, she began to feel unfulfilled in her career. By her early 30s, Kelly made the bold move to switch to journalism, marking the start of her rise to national prominence. She began as a freelance reporter at ABC News before securing a position at Fox News in 2004. At Fox, Kelly quickly made a name for herself with her sharp legal insight and tough questioning, eventually hosting several shows, including America Live and The Kelly File. The latter became one of the network's highest-rated programs, solidifying her as a major media figure. First Marriage and Annulment Kelly's first marriage was to anesthesiologist Daniel Kendall. They tied the knot in 2001 when Kelly was still advancing her legal career in Washington, D.C. Although the relationship started with promise, the marriage ended after five years, and the couple decided to have it annulled. Looking back, Kelly has spoken about how the marriage simply didn't work. We were very different people, living very different lives, she reflected in an interview. The annulment, rather than a traditional divorce, carried a lot of meaning for Kelly, reflecting her deep need for a fresh start at this stage in her life. Both Kelly and Kendall have avoided public criticism of one another, maintaining that the split was amicable despite the difficulties. In interviews, Kelly has said that there wasn't one dramatic reason behind their separation, but rather a gradual realization that they were moving in opposite directions. This period was difficult for her on both personal and professional levels, as she continued her shift from law to journalism. The annulment allowed her to reset her personal life and focus more on her flourishing career. Despite the emotional toll, Kelly came out of the experience stronger, noting that, Sometimes, you have to go through tough experiences to really understand yourself and what you need. Before we continue, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe to Golden Throwback for more content like this. Now, let's get back to it. Meeting and Marrying Douglas Brunt Shortly after her first marriage ended, Kelly's life took a brighter turn when she met Douglas Brunt. At the time, Brunt was the CEO of a cybersecurity company called Authentium, and their shared ambition and sense of humor quickly built a solid foundation for their relationship. The two were married in 2008, and their bond has remained strong over the years, even as they've navigated the challenges of their high-profile lives. Kelly often speaks about how much she values her relationship with Brunt, referring to him as her anchor through both personal and professional trials. He makes me laugh every single day, she said in one interview, highlighting the strength of their connection. Their relationship moved quickly, but it was clear to Kelly that she had found someone who could handle the demands of her high-pressure career in the media. Meanwhile, Brunt was undergoing his own transformation, stepping down from his company in 2011 to become a full-time novelist. This shift allowed him more flexibility 
to spend time with their growing family. Together, Kelly and Brunt have three children, Yates, Yardley, and Thatcher. Despite Kelly's fame, they've worked hard to ensure their family life remains grounded. On one anniversary, Kelly posted, 16 years ago today, I married my husband, Doug Brunt. Every day since, I've thanked God for bringing us together and blessing us with three wonderful kids. Thank you, Duggar, for making me laugh, making me think, making me better, and for always making sure I'm on time for international flights. I love you. To those still searching for love, don't give up. It's worth the wait. Douglas Brunt's Career Douglas Brunt's career has taken an interesting path, transitioning from the tech industry to the world of writing. Before meeting Megan Kelly, Brunt had made a name for himself as the CEO of Authentium, a cybersecurity firm. Although he was successful in the tech world, like Kelly, he eventually realized his real passion was elsewhere. In 2011, Brunt made the significant choice to step away from his executive role to focus on writing, a move that has since paid off. His debut novel, Ghosts of Manhattan, came out in 2012 and was praised for its satirical take on life in the financial world. Brunt has since published other novels, such as The Means and Trophy Son, which have solidified his reputation as a talented storyteller. Brunt's success as an author has given him a unique identity outside of being Kelly's husband, although he continues to be a strong supporter of her work. Kelly has credited Brunt's career change with helping them achieve more balance in their family life. His decision to leave the business world gave him more time for writing and for being present with their children. In several interviews, Kelly has expressed her admiration for Brunt's bravery in pursuing his passion, stating, He's an incredibly talented writer, and I couldn't be more proud of him. Writing continues to be a creative outlet for Brunt, while his roles as a father and partner remain central to his life. Current Life and Future Plans These days, Megan Kelly is focused on finding harmony between her family life and her professional ambitions. As a mother of three, she often emphasizes that her children, Yates, Yardley, and Thatcher, are her top priority. In various interviews, Kelly has spoken about the difficulties of being a working mother in the public eye, but she frequently acknowledges her husband Doug's support in helping her maintain balance. He's my partner in every sense, and I can always count on him, Kelly has said, highlighting the strength of their marriage as they handle the pressures of both their careers and parenting. While Kelly's public persona remains prominent, she and her family strive to maintain a low profile in their personal lives. Both Kelly and Brunt are actively involved in their children's lives, and Kelly often speaks about the importance of creating a stable and loving home environment. Looking ahead, Kelly is committed to her podcast, The Megan Kelly Show, which gives her a platform to express her views freely without the restrictions of traditional network television. She has also hinted at exploring new ventures, but for now, is content with the freedom her current work offers. Now, it's your turn. What's your favorite Megyn Kelly moment? Share your thoughts in the comments below.